This week, we head up to Mount Charleston to do some dispersed camping with packout campers and lost road campers. We check out their rigs, and I test out a new pizza oven accessory for the Scotty Grill. Bon me pizza tonight. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we are truck camping out in Mount Charleston, hanging out with some friends tonight. It's been about a year since we've camped out with Jag, so I'm stoked to see all of his updates on the camper. So let's dive in. We are already set up and just hanging out. Got Kyle with us as well. There has been a lot of updates since the last time we've seen this thing. I think the last time we visited was over at Overland Expo. So a couple new things that I'm going to point out right now is a brand new side awning right here, which is poleless, zipperless, caseless, and it just opens yeah. on its own, it no poles whatsoever. Kamek, this is awesome. I would definitely look into this over my 270 awning. We also got a, is that a Max Air fan up there? Yep. All right, got a new Max Air fan. You got some solar up there. What looks like bike racks. Nope. No? What is that? That's a kayak mount. Okay. On the passenger side. And on the other side is getting ready for winter. That's your snowboard. Snowboarding. Okay, okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snowboard, skis, crossbars. You can put snowboards or skis up in there. Also new is the window. Nice. That's friendly. Yeah, I was about to say, dude, that's like one of the reasons why we don't ever keep Rio in the back of the truck is because... There's no like ventilation, yep. so that is awesome. Is there a bug screen in this too, or just yep. open straight? It's, uh, I think it's locked right now, but we could open it. Yep. Nice, nice. That is awesome. We got our bike rack, side bike rack as well, so that you can still use the back of your truck without having to take any space back here so you can keep this all open. Mount your bikes on the side, which is awesome. Keep it out of the way so you don't have to take it off every time unless you have like a swing hitch for your bike. Max Air Fan, and that is cool, dude. I've been seeing people do, like poke holes in their GFC just to put a Max Air Fan in there. And you got your weatherization uh, on the inside right now. So it comes standard with insulation now. Especially here in Vegas, it gets really hot. So yeah, yeah. Down foam and a thermal fabric on top of it. Nice, and you got like some storage up there as well. And there's lights on top too. You can you see here? All right, and they also uh, rig these out with some red arc, red arc, red arc lighting up in here. You've definitely made some updates on the the rain shield. Yes. 360 all around the windows. You can open up your windows without getting any rain inside. And that's removable. The flap is removable? Yep, you can just nice. zip it. Nice. See, whenever you don't need it, you can take it off. But everything still stores perfectly yep. fine on the inside whenever you're trying to pack it up. That's so perfect if you remove it, especially if you're doing stargazing. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. All right, anything else new on the outside that I have left out? New color options, okay, so, so not just black now. Not just black, so we do textured white, uh, dark olive green, um, there's desert tan. What is this thing? That's your vent for your heater. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah, you were yeah. showing me this. Dude, this looks a lot more cleaned up now, though. Yep. Propane heater exhaust right here, and the propane heater is down here. And then you got the cubbies on both sides this time, because I think last time I saw you, there was only one. it was only on one side. So this is your whole camp kitchen now yep, so. on this side. <laughs> you got a toaster, you got a Keurig, <laughs> you got a single burner up in here, a pot. Um, is this a speaker? Yeah. Nice, yeah, so nice. Some, some Molly panels up at the top. Very nice. And then you got your dual purpose shelving here, which also holds your max tracks, which is very awesome dual purpose because my max tracks, if I do bring them with me, which is very rare, they just bounce around in my truck bed and I never take them out. So, <laughs> or they just take up room in the bed. Nothing gets in the way of the flaps coming down. So that is a great, great design. Forgot this one too. All right, what, what is that? Oh, oh, that's the end, that's your, okay. So there's some special storage. I'm gonna show you guys that when I get inside. I saw this during Overland Expo. So let me, is there anything special in that today? Oh, it's just blankets. Oh, okay, just, just blankets. Jackets. Okay, okay. 
I hide my ARs there, but it's not there. <laughs> so, so secret, secret of storage. Yeah. All right, all right. For, what is uh, this? For your paper towel. Oh, okay. So it doesn't fly. Oh, nice. So it goes nice. like that and it, it clamps down to the paper. Yeah, yeah. No, that's cool. I've never seen that, actually. That's, <laughs> that's sweet. All right. So if we go right here, now you have double lights, and then you can still be able to use it. And when you close the camper, it's inside. Okay, okay. So we got some lights on the inside. Now you can push the bed up if you want to. Yep, okay. So this is probably my favorite thing about this setup, y'all, is how easily you can just move the entire bed. And when we were looking at that storage area on the outside, this is where you can add some extra bedding or, you know, hide anything else that you'd like to hide. Awesome, like, usage of the space, though. Otherwise, that just is like a blank space that won't, wouldn't otherwise be used, but great design. It's awesome because you can use this side as like a little desk over here. You got a nice little view. The windows are also making sense, unlike the GFC. As you guys already know, my complaints about the GFC uh, with their windows, which version two, they've done a good job at Actually, fixing the windows. 2. So 2.5 or something. Dude, it's nice. Yeah. Was there anything else you want to show up here, Jags? It's not on my camper, but on the backside, we offer a sliding and drop down glass window. If you don't oh, for this. Yard. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. if you have like that back window yes. in your cab, you can, you can open this up. Okay. Yeah, okay. You can do half Molly two Molly or red arc in a Molly panel. It's, it's like endless configuration with the camper. Nice. And you can see also here when you're sleeping, you have quick access to your thermostat when during winter. Is oh, that's nice. Yep. And on the side also, uh, we offer a fixed panel now if you don't want the going door. And then on top of the fixed panel, you can also add the turn Arctic window. So it's an Arctic window where you can have multiple layers. Yes. Okay. Okay. Got it. Nice. That's cool. So it, it does it replace this or is it just a different type of panel? You can replace, you can having it a fixed panel with no going or you okay. can do like a fixed panel with turn Arctic. There's a whole bunch of combo. Okay. You can do with this Depending stuff. on how, how you guys plan on camping. Yep. Okay. Okay. What's the remote for? For your fan. Okay. <laughs> if you're too lazy all right. To, all right. Yeah. Yeah. If you're too lazy to reach the fan up. <laughs> nice. Nice. Come on in here, dude. Let we, this, this will be a party right now. Three bros are coming in here. There's enough room for, you know, let me just do this here. Enough room for all of us in here. New, uh, this is a five foot bed. Yep. So, I mean. The new upgrade is the disco ball, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Insulation yep. at the top, and then you got that. Dude, the Max Air, that is going to be an awesome, awesome upgrade just for any time of the year, really. I mean, dude, for the fan and everything. Yeah. I bet, dude. Nice. Oh, watch your head, watch your head. Yeah. So one more thing I want to point out is this nice four inch foam pad in here. And you can keep all of your bedding in here because there is ample, ample room up here to close down the tent with your sleeping bag, two pillows. Yeah. And okay. we got some extra storage over here, which is great. That's a, that's a... And the Max Air Fan with some lighting. So that is great. And then for the last panel, if you did want to close it down, you can just close it down like that. And this is the uh, gall wing. Oh, okay, there's a there's a little thing right here to so it doesn't so it doesn't swing out on you. So you can keep it open. So okay, so you that's what you're saying. So you can stand up on the tailgate without having to like bend over or anything, which is nice. That's 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 truly like. That's a big that's a big difference with the GFC because the panels all come up outward, so you really can't stand on your tailgate and uh, get in and out. So having that is is definitely nice. That's a good idea. Great design, man. Okay, so the Arctic window, so you can yep. have an extra layer of insulation. Cool. Very nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This one is cool, dude. I love that, so that we can keep your dog in there and yep. keep the ventilation going. If you put like both, so if you didn't have the cubbies on the other side, you could have some good crosswinds inside the camper, which is awesome. Every time I see you, there's something new always happening, man. So <laughs> the cool thing designing this camper though, because everything is made in Las Vegas. Yeah. So for if sure. I know there's a great idea, I can quickly change that. Yeah. And redesign talk to your guys, manufacture it. And actually one of the guy that's manufactured now trailers, 
is the one helping us doing the powder coat, the welding of all this. Kind of okay, yep. nice. That's awesome. So local Las Vegas guys, if you guys are interested in pack out campers, I'll leave their information down below. The camper just keeps getting better. There's just more evolutions of it and it just gets more and more like easy to use, more convenient, and it really depends on how you want to use the camper, mm -hmm. which I think is, what, is what's ideal. So if you need the bike rack or not, if you need internal insulation for if you're camping out in wintertime, or even in the summer, I think the summertime, the insulation awesome. helps either, insulation, insulation helps summer or winter, guys, it doesn't matter, but it'll help you keep cool in the summer and warm in the winter, so either way. It's you don't around. really take anything anymore in here, oh, right? Oh, this guy. Is, is just your stairs out, and yep. this otherwise this is open? Yeah, it's open. Your electrical system, you don't have to put anything under the bed, especially working on a five foot bed. You know, yeah, for sure. Storage is a premium. I know what you mean, man. I know what you yeah. mean. Storage is a premium. So, finding those space, how to organize your five foot bed, even I'm like fully rigged to go out, you don't see anything in there. It's just this, yeah. or my dogs could stay down here. My Some clothes, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, I guess your chair, I guess. That that is all you've taken out. I like pointed at the dog, but that's Kyle's dog. <laughs> but that's it. Otherwise, the camper is as is, has everything you need, all within itself. Not having to carry a bunch of totes and stuff around, which y'all already know how much I love my totes and being able to move those around in the GFC. <laughs> but this is very convenient, and I, I I can definitely see that. And you can lock all this stuff up too, which is really convenient. So you can keep everything in here, lock it up, and not have to worry about it. So. Keep, That's great. You can always keep changing this one. Say so if you're a photographer, this could be your camera gear, your drone gear. Oh, okay. So you got some, yeah. okay, so shelving in here. It's not like a fixture. Like this farm is a prototype right now that we're like figuring out how to organize like a single soul burner. Yeah. Things there. So now we're in the process of designing, actually I'm designing a one that's like a removable shelf. Okay. You can reconfigure however you want. So if you're... Mountain biking, you can remove your bike, go on this side right here, drop the match rack table, set up your gear, your gloves, your helmet. Throughout the year, um, I always change out the configuration. Yeah, yeah. So Depends on what you're doing yeah. too, yeah. What time of year it is, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so mountain bike season, now it's winter. Um, the top, you have your kayak on the, on the passenger side, and on the other side, you have your winter. And the big thing with, also with our camper, we're, you still have a usable roof rack. Yeah, so, definitely. So what are you keeping up here? Is this recovery gear and stuff? Recovery gear, hose for the shower, propane lines. Okay, okay, just other miscellaneous yeah. things then, yeah. Yeah, if you don't have a roof rack, all this gear goes on the back. Yeah. So no, it takes space. Okay, okay. And I love how you got all the kitchen just all on this side. So uh, Jags was also saying that he usually keeps his fridge on this side so he can cook, you know, grab stuff from the fridge, grab whatever he needs from up here. And it just flows really, really well. All right, guys, we got Luke from Lost Road Campers. He builds trailers, local Las Vegas company as well. But we're going to go check, take a look at his rig here. Some of the outside stuff. Let's do it, man. We got some storage back here. This is actually our pull-out kitchen. Oh, snap. All right. So we're plums uh, for hot and cold water. Oh, I was no, I was only expecting like like halfway, yeah, but this is... Comes all the way out. Wow. So this is giant. 10-inch sink. Super deep sink. Really nice. A little bit of storage here. Okay. I don't have anything loaded. Yeah, yeah. This is just like an access for all your plumbing and stuff down there. We got the big old bridge. So all of them are on the pull-out trays. This is like a, I think it's 500 pounds for the slides. And uh, how much does this trailer weigh? So you're pulling it with a, a Lexus over here. Yeah, the GX460. All right, all right. Um, with the water tank full, we're right at 3,000 pounds. 3,000, okay. Yeah. So yeah, nice, you got some storage up in the storage. front. Got an upper rack. Got some molly on the side here. Tongue box is where we store the propane too. So nice. it passes all the way through and then the bottom is we just keep the propane back there. We That's do cool. the, the arc jack. We're doing the lock and roll hitch right now, but I think we might go to the, the DO30. Okay. So, I don't know anything about like moving trailers. So yeah. you say that and I'm just gonna keep they're, it in. They're, they're, <laughs> what's nice is they're super quiet. Okay. Like you don't hear the ball rattling around, you know? Oh, gotcha, okay. And then that articulates so it'll like, yeah, like a full three. Yeah, yeah, dude, you did this corner right here when you came by. Yeah. I mean, I didn't hear any type of, mm -hmm. you know, nice. squeaking. It didn't sound like it was having any struggles yeah. coming into this uh, tight corner. So 
between the articulating hitch and then we do a timbrum independent suspension. Okay. But it's just super quiet all around. So is this, do you, do you market this as like an off-roading trailer yeah. then? Okay. Yeah. Nice. So we did an HD. Oh, okay. So this is standard, but you can go up to a four inch lift. Yeah. I got right. the four inch lift in the shop too, by the way. I might swap it out and see what it looks like. Nice. So going inside, plenty of room to stand up. All right. And I have like, like oh. four adults chilling in here. Okay, all yeah. right. So right here we have a queen, full size queen mattress. Um, and then nice. in this mer in this version, we did a twin um, because I have, I have one kid. So okay. we really like to keep our bed. Yeah, yeah. And so then, room for three to sleep. Is this the only model this that you create? Bed, okay, yeah. okay. We, we're gonna do a kitchenette in this one too. So okay, just like a nice. couple. Yeah, yeah. You could do a little cooking inside. And nice. I was just about to ask that. Sweet. And then we do on the walls. We do this like modular slat board. So yeah, all like of that. these accessories, um, you can move them around. Like you just screw them, pull them out, and you can you can clip them back in, and then lock nice. that in. So you can kind of mess around with like where you have yeah, to. Yeah, that's great, man. That's that's a great idea because like then, you know, inside you can kind of customize it to whatever you want it, yeah. want to do in the, the the area. And you got this all over the place. Yeah, it's everywhere. So, so that, even the, even that's the cool. Like yeah. You can move the, if you don't like the cabinet there, you can move it to the other wall. Okay, okay. Oh, so this this whole thing you can just move over yep. if, if needed. It'll have uh, nice. those, those same little thumb screws. Okay, okay. And and once you like cinch them down, that's it's... You know, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Looks pretty solid, yeah. That's a great idea in here. I've never seen like a a trailer with these types of slots where you yeah. can kind of do whatever you want inside, hang whatever you want in here. You we got like the Max Air fan? Yeah, I got the Max Air. We like it too because it's super light. Yeah, and for it, sure. It doesn't add a, like a ton of insulation, but they market it as it's one R. So okay. It just okay. a little extra layer of like air insulation. The whole trailer, all like floors, wall, ceiling is all one inch foam on the on the interior. Yeah. Um, so it's like the R value, I think we're shooting right around, like we hit 10. Nice. Insulation. Would you say it's a all season then? Yeah, so okay. we actually pack under here, my strut broke earlier today, but the water tank and the pump. And okay, that's what's lights. underneath the bed. Okay. Yeah, it's all it's all inside and it's all in climate control. So. Okay, nice. So sure. nothing will freeze. Yeah, right. <laughs> and you got a, a table right here. Little fold out table. Little cubby. Little shoes holder. Shoe racks, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is just like a telescoping leg. Nice, nice. That's cool. So you can yeah. play some games in here when the yeah. weather's crappy outside. I do like the windows in here. There's a lot of good window, so you got three in here. You got yeah. one in the front, a we're big one in the back. The, uh, we're going to the turn windows too. Turn windows? What, what do you mean, like? Uh, um, it's the it's the Overland window brand. Okay. You know, Just to help there. with uh, with the insulation then and yeah. everything. Okay. Yeah. And they're all awning windows, and they all have uh, yep. like this back one is an awning, and they come built with you can do privacy shades. Oh, okay. Or you okay. Can go up for bug screen. Oh, that's nice. And you, that's uh, nice. So you can open it up, up, not have to worry about bugs. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Get some airflow. Awesome. It's a poor man air conditioning when you turn the max fan on and then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Cool and there. what battery? What, what's charging this thing? Or what's powering this thing? So we're this one's wired for solar. Okay. Uh, two, uh, three hundred watts on the roof. Okay. And, and that's being held down in this area all, here. All the electronics in the front, actually. Okay. So under this bed is the uh, battery compartment. Okay. And like we have everything's in there, so the solar charge controller fuse block, the inverter, all that good stuff's in there. Okay. And so, I mean, are, are you open to the public right now to yeah. to buy? And, oh, yeah. Okay. And people just kind of customize whatever. Yeah, we do. It's because we're so small, we're pretty flexible. That's not a diesel heater? No. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah. We don't have a heater, but we um, there's space for a diesel heater in there. So okay. Just added in. Very nice. Very nice. Super nice, man. I love the design on that, and I love this color. We do our own powder coating too, so yeah, um, cool. like any color that they sell in powder coat, we can get. Nice. We in the outdoor kitchen, it's just that's cool. Yeah. Another side. Step over here. We do have the Dometic. More oh, is this? Oh, this is where your electric is and everything. This is just the AC. Okay. So if you don't have, if you have the rooftop AC. Oh, this uh, thing. I've seen this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zero breeze. There you go. That's okay. Okay. This is a little AC unit in here. Yeah. And you don't, do you have to be connected to the shore power though? No. Nope. For that to run? Nope. So that's, yeah. uh, okay. right now that's wired to the, it comes with a 24 volt battery. Okay. Um, but you can run it off the inverter too. And you need the AC, you can you can pretty much run it nonstop. Okay. But instead of the max fan, you can do the Dometic uh, 12 volt. Okay. Yeah. And that's actually a little stronger. Full size spare too and everything. That's, that's nice. Our, uh, 
That's our tankless water heater. Okay. And so oh, so you got an outdoor shower out yeah. here or something? Okay. So that's plumbed to the kitchen and then also to the shower. So Very nice. That is cool. That's our, like, the control panel for the temperature and stuff, and then you just you pull that out. Nice. And then we have this tent. So we pull it out, and we made this, like... Oh, so it's a little shower tent. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick mount system. You can just hook it on the side. Oh, that's nice. And then that unzips just like any normal okay. shower tent. Okay, yeah, that's super convenient, though. Yeah. That's cool. Yep. So if you guys are interested, I will leave Luke's information down in the description below. Local Las Vegas made trailer. And that's, this is awesome. So we got a trailer locally made in Las Vegas. We got a camper locally made in Las Vegas, pack out campers. So I will leave all of their information down below. Luke, is there anything else you want to add to this? Um, no, just check us out on Instagram. We're just getting our following started. So all we're, right. we're a little fresh, but. Yeah, how long have you been in business at thus far? About a year? Just about a year. Okay. Yeah. We've been doing Sweet. it for ourselves, uh, you know, building for friends and stuff, but we finally just decided, you know, let's give it a try and see what happens. Yeah, man. Hey, the market, the market is now, man. <laughs> yeah, why not? If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try and reach out to these guys, get an answer back to you guys. But uh, we're just going to be hanging out for the night. Uh, the sun is setting. We're going to be making dinner here soon. I'll be back to you guys. I am making some pizza. We'll see how this turns out. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Scotty also gave me uh, this little, this like little tray thing where you can hold stuff in here, but you can also use it to cook. So they gave gave me like this little. Where are they from? They're from Germany these guys are you know this is all like stainless steel um throw it in the dishwasher minus this stuff this stuff's like tin but uh portable little stove and it all fits into like a little wow. pouch like this so super tiny compact but yeah they gave me like a little pizza stone uh, normally though, it's just a grill. I just have a grill grate on there. It's just a portable gas grill, but I've been loving it, man. It's been, it's been a good little, little addition to camp. So my goal of this trip is not to ask Caden for anything. Because usually I can get something and I'm like, it's not going to happen, and I forgot my phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. Exactly, it's like these quick overnight trips, like you don't really, you really don't need much. We usually just like bring dishes home with us just because we don't want to waste water. Yeah. Wait, so you actually are making pizza? I'm legit making pizza, dude. Where's I told dough? you. I'm, I'm getting ready, bro. Dude. <laughs> so that thing runs off of propane, that's pretty cool. All right, guys, we are making some banh mi pizza tonight. We've just been hanging out around the fire, chilling. But I'm trying out the new Scotty stone, little pizza stone in here. I'm getting the meat warmed up though, because I got the meat pre-made. So I'm also using Scotty's little, Scotty's box here for transporting the meat. I'm just throwing it in here just to warm everything up. Or warm up the meat just a little bit. We're going to chop up some veggies here.
This knife, I've been really surprised with it <laughs> because I've never sharpened it since I bought it. It's a GSI. It's just a camp knife, dude. But it, <laughs> I was wondering that too. I was like, I gotta sharpen this one day, but it's been totally fine. <laughs> Been working out well. We got some fresh basil here, dude. Oh, it smells so good. All right, we're gonna check this here real quick. And uh, these little box things come with like these little handles. You can hear it sizzling in there. So that's definitely warmed enough. Put that to the side. It's definitely getting hot in there. Let's uh, assemble this pizza. Got our pre-made dough, which I'm gonna need to cut down since the uh, the Scotty's surface area is only so big. So I think it's like maybe that large. Put some tinfoil down here. So we can assemble. What vegetables did you throw in there? Onions, bell peppers, and mushrooms. Nice. And then the Hell yeah. Maybe he has like some parchment paper on here. Size here. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is I made some sauce here for this banh mi pizza, which literally I've never heard of, but I was looking at, you know, unique pizzas to try out on this contraption here. So we made some sauce, which is just soy sauce, honey, lemongrass, basil, and cilantro. Just mix this up a little bit. I'm gonna brush this on here. thinner than I think it's going to be. Right. We are going to throw some mozzarella on there with the ground turkey. I'd use ground turkey, you can usually use ground pork, uh, but you know, we try and, we trying to be a little healthy around here, so I did some ground turkey tonight for it, but I marinated it in this sauce. So, throw it on here. Throw some of this meat on here. Then we're just going to cover this up with some more cheese here. And let's throw this in the oven. And I know I had this on the top, but let's just take this off so it's easier to throw this on. Lost a couple guys, but it's all good. Yeah. At least I think. That's what the bag, the bag said. <laughs> That's what I've done. That. I usually do that at home, actually, as part, oh, yeah. on parchment paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Gotcha. Yeah, baking paper. And we'll probably bake this for probably like 12 minutes. Let's do 10 and then check it. I'm like smelling something. What's this? Scoot this over just a tad. And uh, Scotty also provided the little spatula for this thing so I can move it around, move it off the stone here. So I'm gonna throw this little guy on the side here just to help it uh, cook in there. Maybe I'll leave that in, I'll check it again in like five minutes just so it just make sure it doesn't burn. And then after that cooks, we got some veggies here that we're gonna top it off with and I'm just gonna top this off with some some sesame oil. So we got some onions, shredded carrots, some radishes, and some cucumbers. I'm just gonna give it a little toss and some rice vinegar and some soy sauce here. Lots of a mess, but this should be, I think, really good. How's your jambalaya going over here, man? It's going. All right. Already made a mess. Already made a mess. It's spilling out, but it's all right. Slow and steady. <laughs> Let's go see what Jags is doing over here. Kyle made some awesome corn dip over here. Super good. What you got going on over here, man? Fancier chicken. Fancy chicken. Fancier, so not oh, fancy. Okay. No, just garlic, salt, pepper. Nice. Hi. I got some pork ribs. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Jag's kitchen out here. Good thing it's simple. Awesome. Small little kitchen. <laughs> hey, man. As long as good food comes out of here, it's all good. <laughs> You can be as small as you want. <laughs> I know, I love the toaster in here, man. That's my wife. The wife likes the... Where's the little oven? You had a the oven for a while. Oven. Actual oven. I put the oven right here. Um, it like protrudes out more. So I need to adjust the cabinet to go. I'm gonna need to... So you found a 12 volt oven? That's cool. <laughs> so you can heat up pandesal in there. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, it's nice. I really like it a lot. Nice. Dude, that camp, the the Coleman oven I got is has been working really well, man. Oh yeah, watch our video. It no, looks good. It's good, dude. Like I was surprised. Like it worked out really well. All right, let's check on this pizza, y'all. <laughs> All right, so let's see this. All right, yeah, it's getting there. Cheese is getting melty. Crust hopefully is uh, cooking underneath. Keep it in for probably another few minutes. Pizza is done. There's another drawer that pulled out this way. And then I had underneath, we just had that three quarter inch plywood, and that was like a frame board. I lost my like this. I was at sports with yesterday. They don't even like have them anymore. They only have like. They had a lot of jet oil stuff. And then they had like the big camp stuff. So I want, I want something. I want to see. I'm going to put the door in there and then uh, the top of it, maybe. That was like the top, you know? Then, Cooked um, pretty well. Look at that. Turned out pretty good. Let's go top this thing off now. Like back at the shop, and I don't see slide assembly. 
Under our flies out of it. I think I think I put too much water in this one. Oh dude, I have measuring cups, man. No, I promise I wasn't gonna ask you for measuring cups. Pepperoni pizza's coming up. Oh. This is ridiculous, dude. What? <laughs> this is almost as bad as me bringing my air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure, man. That was Holy so good. Guacamole, man. Yeah, dude, look at this. The pizza right now. <laughs> Trying out this pizza stone. That was the biggest big Coleman. Minus Final product, some yeah. banh mi pizza. Got those marinated veggies on top, some like onions, that. carrots, cilantro. We also made some side sauce here that we're just gonna drizzle on top of our banh mi pizza. And then I had a bunch of issues with this in 2018. And I was like, this truck's like two years old and I bought it in 2021. So it was like, uh, I had some equity in so he was happy, I was happy. Like, I probably could have got a little more if I would have shopped around a little bit. We were right in the middle. You got somebody who would appreciate Yeah, that, that's kind of what I was hoping for. <clears throat> Alright guys, you guys want to try this banh mi pizza? Pizza? Banh mi. Banh mi. Banh mi. Alright, alright. Thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Alright, I'm not going to lie, I've never tried this, this type of pizza before, so... This is legit, dude. Bon right. me pizza. Bon me pizza, guys. All right, here you go. Look at that. <laughs> oh, All shit. All the veggies. Jeez, this crust This yeah. crust might be a little bit overdone. No, no. What's good? Hmm. Oh, damn. I like that. Mm. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Yeah, you're gonna have to show me that recipe. Okay, so essentially the bottom is like a soy sauce mixture. That's kind of like the base of this pizza. And then mozzarella cheese, and then I marinated the ground turkey with that soy sauce mixture. That's good. And uh, after that, I threw some mozzarella on there, cooked the pizza first, and then threw all the fresh veggies on top. So it's supposed to be like that banh mi style, fresh veg. The veg is um, marinated in some rice vinegar, a little bit of sesame oil, and then I got a little peanut sauce on top that drizzled on top. There you go, guys. Bon me pizza. Honest thoughts? Good? Dude. Works oh, out? Good. All right. Oh, yeah, I do have some jalapeno in there, a little bit of uh, cilantro, and a little bit of green onions. So a little bit of everything. Got a little bit of uh, thinly sliced radishes on there as well. Wow. Went all out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I like the freshness on there. It looks good. It was really good. I'd order this in a restaurant. I like Dude, I, I looked up like unique pizzas, and this came up, and I was like, that sounds fun. <laughs> I've been craving me some banh mi. Oh, the crust? Yeah. It like made it. Per like all throughout all the pieces I just gave you guys. It was even distributed. Yeah, everything was like evenly cooked. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Did you make the crust, dude? No, it's just like a... Just like uh, a... Bro. Just a... Oh, good. Pizza crust. Ridiculous. It's like where you get the Pillsbury Doughboy mm -hmm. crust stuff, so... That was ridiculous, bro. That was really good. Yeah, that's good. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna do this like again at home, <laughs> like for sure. I'll leave a le recipe down below, guys, but... Super good. I'd definitely do this again. Like another minute. So underneath the stone is, is a grill, you're saying? Yeah, that's it right there. So usually on the bottom, you can just change it out. Mm -hmm. Usually there's a grill grate, but they also gave me a cast iron. That's cool. Some chicken. Oh, you got some broccoli up in there too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me check out this, uh, check out this pizza here. I got plenty. I got a lot more over here. Yeah. It's like, it definitely cooks very evenly on the crust here. Like you can almost hold it up like this. 
Pepperoni pizza is ready. It's almost like the thing. Making another bon me, but this time we're using uh, some pre-made crust because we ran out of the uh, raw crust. We're gonna go back to your team. I used to like all the payments a lot because their food was really good. Payments, yeah. Like they have like a, they have like good Indian food. Which one? The Mediterranean. Like. Mediterranean. I've heard of that place. I make my own naan. Oh yeah. Game changer. <laughs> They're basically made out of like clay. Clay. <laughs> That's the, that's the pit one, right? Where yeah. you slap it on the side. Yeah. Really? Yep. That doesn't sound good. What? <laughs> Is that no, supposed to be good? Do you have like an explanation on the table? How like the old traditional pizza is? Yeah. But Setabello's, man, that's probably our favorite yeah. pizza place. Dude, that's one that Steph and I wanted to take no, you guys no. to. That's all. Awesome. Yeah, for sure. I, I, I hate telling yeah. people it's a pizza spot. Y'all, pizza turned out super good. Bon Me Pizza. I'll leave a link to the recipe down below, but super fresh, really nice, crisp. The Scotty Grill did really, really well. Really stoked to keep using this out at camp. Jags also made some chicken, some broccoli over here. Kyle made some jambalaya. Everything turned out super good. All right, guys, so I didn't show you guys how this was all set up. So you take the, gr the grate out, and there's just three pieces right there that keep the stone above the flame here. And then what I did with the cap is I just left one side off so that you can slide pizza in and out. And using the little pizza scrape thing, you can just use one side of the Scotty to use as uh, your little handle here, so you can pick it up. But that's essentially it though. You just set it up like you normally would, but instead of the grill grate, you can throw a little cast iron or a little pizza stone on here. And this is the dirty side, so I was showing you guys the clean side, but got a little bit of uh, some cheese on there. But what's nice is that everything still folds down Everything still folds down really flat. And I'm probably just gonna put this in the box cause that way it's just not with the grill. But I'm just gonna keep storing it in here. It's like the CVT ones. Yep. So. The hinges, gas shut, same exact numbers. The... Pretty chilly last night, guys. Good thing I brought my zero degree sleeping bag. Sleeping, sleeping in bunk mode. I was like, you, your cat gets, <laughs> gets uh, separation anxiety. He's more like a dog than our dog, though. Oh, really? Like, I, I, Is he, he an does, orange cat? He does tricks. He's black. Oh, okay. <laughs> He'll like sit and shake and roll over and fetch. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool. Ollie. We took booty. We took booty. Luke brought some brown sugar cardamom buns from Trader Joe's. Go ahead, Jags. Yeah, he split it in half. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I was just about to say, I was like, <laughs> warming up a little. Jags 
big old rig. Later. Guys, getting camp all packed away here. All right, guys. Well, that concludes the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it was pretty laid back, uh, chill. Um, it was just good to, you know, hang out with the guys and, and catch up and just, you know, hang out. So it was nice and cool last night. So very, very great sleep. Super quiet out here. The weather was perfect. It probably dipped down to about like late, uh, I think like low 50s. So really nice and nice and cool outside last night. Um, I had to put a jacket on again, second time this year, this season. But luckily the uh, the temps in Vegas are starting to drop, hopefully within the next week so we can start camping, you know, maybe some Lake Mead, you know, hit uh, hit some of the lake areas around town. So if you guys have any questions on any of the, uh, you know, the the campers that we saw, to, saw today in this video, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks. What's your name? Will. Will? Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. Holy shit. <laughs> Shout out to Will. He uh, just stopped me, stopped us, and said hello. Took a picture. Don't ever hesitate to say hi to me, guys, out here on the trail. So I love meeting you guys.